Welcome to Tech in the Car. We're going to talk about the brand new features of the new 2022 Audi RS3, the saloon, the sedan, the limousine, the sportback. We're going to talk about its speed, its drift mode, the differences between the previous model and the new model. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe down below. Let's show you some footage now. Let's start talking about the car. It's not clear yet if it's going to come to the USA, but I'd be very surprised if it didn't, considering the RS6 came to the USA. So if you're in America, fingers crossed, hopefully it will come. The full announcement is going to be later in July, so there will hopefully be some information then. Now let's talk about the current car. This car has 394 horsepower or 400 PS. The new car is said to have 400 horsepower. That is absolutely a correct conversion. Not quite as good as the AMG A45S. Unfortunately, there's no mention of a performance version, but it's much, much faster. Zero to 60, 3.8 seconds officially. That's 0.3 of a second faster than the official previous gen RS three times. And knowing Audi, it's probably a lot faster than that. It may well be able to do it in 3.1, 3.2 seconds, considering the standard RS3 from the last generation is able to do it in about three and a half seconds, which is already faster than what Audi said it can do, which is 4.1. Although they did say 3.9 in the USA literature. But anyway, it's really, really fast. Not quite as powerful as we hoped, but it's fast. Let's talk about the drift mode. Yes, the new RS3 has a drift mode and it has a torque converter clutch now, which is able to, at the back, send power through from the engine and they split it 100% to each side of the rear wheel. Yes, that's right. It can be either 100% on the left or 100% on the rear axle with the torque. And that is unbelievable. The new car is able to drift and it was drifting around Audi's test track like, like a BMW, if I'm honest with you. It looked like a BMW or Mercedes drifting around the test track. That is super, super, super exciting. And this new clutch is a revolution for Audi. It hasn't been used before on any of the other Audi cars, as far as I'm aware, and it's new to the RS3. So that's a really exciting development in terms of the car and the clutch and the performance and the cool ability that it has. The previous RS3, this one had a single clutch and it had a differential which allowed it to send 100% of power to the rear in certain scenarios where basically the front wheels totally lost all grip, which were very, very rare. This car being able to split it 100% to each of the rear wheels through this new dual clutch pack is unbelievable and a huge advancement for Audi and for the RS3. What this means is there is now a controlled drift mode and you can actually pick it in the settings. Let's talk about the settings now. The drive mode has seven settings. You've got your standard comfort, auto, the individual mode as well. So you can set it up exactly as you want in the settings. Dynamic, and then you have your RS performance modes. The new performance mode is very, very neutral. It has a tiny bit of healthy oversteer and zero understeer. Yes, you heard me correctly no understeer on an Audi RS3. The front wheels have an even more aggressive camber. It's got a minus one camber on the front wheels. So it's even better in performance. If you want to drift using the drift mode, then you want to use the dynamic mode because the performance mode is designed specifically for you to hit the track and go around as fast as possible. One exciting thing this is. And new Pirelli, Trofeo R tires have been developed specifically for the new RS3, so you can have that performance at all times going around the track. This is really, really exciting. Now, Audi haven't announced all the specs yet. The car shown off did not have matrix LED lights, which is a bit disappointing. Hopefully that will be an option on the new cars. Also, lots of the interior looks very, very similar to the S3 that's available now. However, the seats do say RS on them, and there is a new RS mode on the digital virtual cockpit, which lets you see what's going on. And with the launch control, it will even give you a traffic light information countdown so you can launch when you have the maximum power. I don't know about you, but that's always been something with this car. I wish I knew exactly what was going on. Although it does give a traffic light system when you're changing up gears manual on the standard current generation RS3. I suppose the old generation because the new one's been shown off. And then let's talk a bit about the design of the car. Obviously this new RS3 is still in camo. It's not going to be officially unveiled till next month but it's got wider rear arches. It's got the vents behind the front that I showed you in the last video, and it's got a really cool design. It looks a lot more aggressive, and seeing it in action shows how much more aggressive it is. 
The new RS3 is gonna be announced in July. It's probably gonna be available at the end of the year around November time. Stay tuned to taking the car for more. I'm gonna hopefully take you on a drive of the new RS3. I may even buy one, you never know. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and if you've got any questions, put them down below. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much, everyone.